الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله سيدنا ومولانا محمد بن عبد الله صلوات الله وسلامه عليه وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Today is the episode number 18 of our book Sifat al-Muminati as-Sadiqa written by Sister Nawal Bintu Abdullah May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with her This episode will tell us uh, more of the qualities which is expected of a true believing woman and she said al muminatu sadiqa this episode will tell us about uh, a true believing woman hayatu halillah that her entire life is for allah fa ilmuha wa amaluha wa da'watuha ila allah her knowledge she seeks it for the sake of allah and she works with the knowledge she seeks and for the, for the sake of Allah and she invites people to the way of Allah wa amruha bil ma'ruf wa nahya 'anil munkar and she also invites people to do good and she forbids or discourages people from wrongdoing a manhajin it is a methodology in ha or a pattern in ha thabit tasiru alayhi fi jami fi jami ahwalha it is a method or pattern that she works on eh, in all her affairs so a true believing woman eh, should seek for knowledge work with the knowledge invite people with the knowledge she has sought and then eh, enjoin people with good and forbid bad and make sure that she does that in the right path of Islam. And then she said, "Inna al-mu'minat as-sadiqa hiya al-kharisatu kullu al-khairs ala talib al-ilm." A true believing woman is the one that always wants to seek for knowledge. She always after knowledge. How will she eh, get in more knowledge in order to develop herself, develop her family, and develop anything? and a saransa al ilm shar'i an nafi she is very ready to seek for the the knowledge of sharia of islam that will benefit her here and in thereafter al ilm allazi yusahum fi rukhusa akidatiha the knowledge that will assist her uh, to uh, uh, to make firm her haqida uh, so that she becomes uh, someone who is very competent in terms of her akida was the to iman ha wa quwwati wa yakinaha the knowledge that will give her uh, more zeal about her iman and will give her more certainty about the religion of islam because if you are not seeking for knowledge you are not a student of knowledge you will never get any increment in the religion of Islam. If you are where you were yesterday, today, then you are not developing because nothing is good about you. You don't seek for knowledge. And the knowledge that will increase our fear and consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala eh, and the goodness of our fear in general. This kind of lady will seek for knowledge and knowledge that will increase all her life pattern and give a good result in the year after al muminatu sadiqa hiya allati tata'allamu al ilm alladhi yuniru yuniru basirataha li tariq al huda a true believing woman is one that will be seeking for knowledge a kind of knowledge beneficial knowledge that will light her path and to the right part of Islam and to do more good and seek for the knowledge of Islam, the knowledge that will uh, uh, be a, a source of uh, a deliverance for her here in this world and the year after. She will seek for the knowledge of Islam 
She will seek to know who the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is. She will seek to know the tarikh, the history, or the seerah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. She will also seek to know the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. She will seek to know <coughs> the knowledge <coughs> that will uh, make her to be running and walking on the paths of the first and uh, pious generations. The knowledge and uh, that she will, uh, uh, the, the knowledge that will guide her to be like the wives of the companions uh, of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and the knowledge that she will also incite into her children so that she becomes a best teacher for her children and best teacher uh, for the forthcoming men in this world whom she will groom as pious scholars and pious engineers, pious medical doctor and uh, medical doctors, pious Islamic scholars, pious fukaha, pious this, pious this, pious that. And she will always seek for knowledge because if she is ignorant, she will never groom these people well. <clears throat> Definitely, in the ilm al nafia, a beneficial knowledge is the one that will make a woman to be a true believing uh, woman in Islam. And it is, it is the beneficial knowledge that will make her to be an exemplary, exemplary a wife for anybody to copy. Now, look at the story of Sayyidatu Aisha, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased and with her. Aisha was 19 or 18 years when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam died. But Aisha uh, filled up this world uh, with the knowledge. The Prophet married her when she was 6 years. Then between this 6 and uh, 18, uh, she has accumulated all the knowledge and she needed. And she stayed for 47 years after the death of the Prophet Sallallahu and teaching people before she also died. In the authentic hadith, uh, oh sorry, according to the scholars of hadith, if not Abu Huraira and maybe Anas ibn Malik, there is no single person from among the Sahaba uh, that has more narrations of hadith like Sayyidatu Aisha from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And she uh, is a female, as you know. This is to tell you that uh, uh, she has more concern of knowledge when the Prophet was alive. She had a lot of money after the Prophet, but she did not uh, pull down her house uh, to build a standard mansion. She used the money for Sadaka. We have said that earlier in the previous episodes. And she was teaching people. And she was teaching even men and even some of the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu uh, will come to Aisha and Aisha will teach them uh, about the religion of Islam. Then the same thing to the remaining wives of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who also learned a lot from the Prophet Sallallahu and they taught it to people uh, after the death of the Prophet Sallallahu Now she said, Wama akhtaru nisafi adi salaf you can see many from among the wives or uh, all women uh, in the period of the Asalaf uh, Sali, the Sahaba, the Tabi'un, and the Tabi'u Tabi'in. They all memorized the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They memorized many of the hadiths of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But today you see female are taken away completely by the worldly affairs. They go to the they go to the masjid to pray. Some do not even care to put on hijab, and it is because of this kind of ladies that some masjid uh, will uh, arrange a hijab uh, or some hijab in the masjid at the female session for this kind of ladies and uh, that come around and do not wear hijab so that they will cover themselves before they begin the prayers. So to women today are not like. Uh, the women of yesterday. But the question is that are we seeking for what the women of yesterday sought? Are we looking for paradise? If at all our essence is to enter paradise, then we should do as they did. Then <clears throat> the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa taught Aisha and Aisha was a good student. 
Uh, Aisha was one of the people who memorized the Quran. She memorized a lot of ahadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and she used to teach it to people. Uh, many of from the uh, from from the student of the companions, the Tabi'un, who didn't see the Prophet but they saw the companions of the Prophet who were students of Sayyidatu Aisha. May Allah be pleased with her. Another story our scholar, uh, the, uh, the scholar author gave here is that the, is the story of a daughter of Sayyid Ibn al -Masayyib. Who is Sayyid Ibn al as I said? Sayyid Ibn al was one of the famous students of Sayyidatu Aisha, radiallahu anha. Sayyid Ibn al was not a companion of the Prophet, but he <clears throat> was a student of the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It is said that uh, during that era, the second generation of the Tabi on the student of the companions, Nobody was knowledgeable as Sayyid Ibn Musayyib. Nobody. And then this Sayyid Ibn Musayyib has a daughter. This daughter, uh, one day, uh, Sayyid Ibn Musayyib <coughs> married this, this, this is daughter to one of his students. The story is very long, but to cut it short, Sayyid Ibn Musayyib uh, missed a student for about three days in the school. In the fourth day when he came, he asked him why you are not in the school these days. And the student said that I lost my wife. And he prayed for the wife, for the deceit. And after all, he said to him that uh, I have a daughter, if you can marry my daughter. And then at the end of the day, uh, this student married the daughter of his scholar. So after the marriage, and the husband has entered into her uh, or her room and then the following day uh, the husband dressed up and want to go back to school and continue learning uh, from her father who was a teacher too and then she held the husband uh, by his cloth and then she asked him Ilaina to read where are you going to for color the husband said, Ila Majlis is Sa'id. I'm going to the Majlis and the school of Sayyid Ibn al Musayyib, your father, my teacher, so that I continue learning and with him. For Kalat Law, and she said to him and to her, to her husband, Idlis, sit down. Wa alimuka ilma Sa'id. I will teach you the knowledge of Sa'id. If you are going to Sayyid Ibn al Musayyib to, to seek for knowledge, Anything that you want inside the Wuna Masayyib is in me. Sit down here, I will teach you. You can see this is a lady. And she 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 acquired all this knowledge eh, from her father to the extent that uh, eh, she became very knowledgeable to the extent that uh, she said to her husband that uh, if it is knowledge you are going to seek eh, in the place of Said Wuna Masayyib, my father sit down here i will teach you anything he has with him because he has taught all this to the daughter and the daughter has learned them this is the kind of woman that we are talking about <clears throat> this is the this this is also the father and this is also the daughter wahia leti endama dakhala alayha waliduha kala laha She's also the lady, this daughter of Sayyid Ibn Musayyib, we are talking about. She's the one that when her father uh, came visiting her one day, uh, the father said to her, Hal at Mamta Tafsira Kitab Allah, have you completed the tafsir of the Quran since you came into this house? Call it, she said, Naam. Ya Abut, you have completed the tafsir. Not reading the Quran, for the tafsir. I have completed the tafsir. Ma ada kalimatin wahidatin lam afham lam afham ma'anaha. Except one kalima, I don't know the meaning of that kalima. My father. For kalalaha. And then her father said to her, Umahi, what is that kalima that you don't understand? Call it. And she recited the saying of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار. she said that for حسنة الآخرة هي الجنة. 
the goodness or the good of the year after is al jannah i know for my hasana to dunya but i don't know what is the hasana the goodness of this world for kala and then her father said hasana to dunya al maratu salikha ya bunayati the good of this world which allah will give to any person who does good actions is to give him a good wife you can see hmm? and then the, 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 the same thing to imam malik may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased eh, with imam malik imam malik has a daughter this daughter of al imam malik has memorized the, the motto of, of al imam malik by heart eh? she will read motto of al imam malik and then any person who comes to imam malik wants to read motto eh, al imam this person will be reading motto for imam malik and malik will be listening anywhere he committed error or mistake then malik will raise alarm when malik is doing this his daughter is inside and as a barrier between them and the daughter inside uh, if this person who is reading uh, committed the mistake and malik is carried away she will knock uh, at something and once malik had the knock malik will tell the reader that i go back and reread there's an error in your reading and if he goes back and reread he will surely find error in the reading this is the daughter of al imam malik who, were, who was also raised by a woman as i said eh, in the last episode we'll stop here inshallah we'll continue eh, from this uh, story of the next person in the next episode inshallah ta'ala barakallahu fina wa fikum assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh